A B-52H Stratofortress bomber launched a fully operational, air-launched hypersonic missile in a milestone weapon test for the U.S. Air Force. The successful test comes after repeated failures and setbacks for the program and will be relief for the stakeholders. Previous testing focused on rocket booster performance, with the first successful booster test occurring in May. Brigadier General Jason Bartolome, Armament Directorate Program Executive Officer, said in a statement, The Aero team successfully designed and tested an air-launched hypersonic missile in five years. I'm immensely proud of the tenacity and dedication this team has shown to provide a vital capability to our warfighter. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes what the successful test of AGM 183A Aero means for the U.S. military. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Here's the full statement. A B-52H Stratofortress successfully released the first all-up round AGM 183A air-launched rapid response weapon off the Southern California coast December 9th. The test was the first launch of a full prototype operational missile. Previous test events focused on providing the booster performance. Following the arrow's separation from the aircraft, it reached hypersonic speeds greater than five times the speed of sound, completed its flight path, and detonated in the terminal area. Indications show that all objectives were met. The 412th Test Wing at Edwards Air Force Base, California, executed the Aero test flight. Aero is designed to enable the U.S. to hold fixed, high-value, time-sensitive targets at risk in contested environments. Weapon maker Lockheed Martin said that this latest successful flight test proves the air-launched rapid response weapon, Aero's design, and demonstrates its capability at hypersonic speeds. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed the speeds of Mach 5, that's five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second or 3,836 miles per hour, or 6,174 kilometers per hour. Extreme speed of hypersonic weapons and ability to fly in unpredictable paths give them a much higher probability of penetrating modern air defenses. They'll be very hard to track, let alone intercept. It's to be noted that traditional ballistic missiles also reach hypersonic speed when they descend down on the target but they follow a predictable, predefined parabolic path which leaves scope for interception by anti-ballistic missile defense systems. In 2017, Lockheed Martin won the contract to begin aero development. The company had stated that it wanted to meet the desired production targets within three years, but the program saw delays due to technical challenges. There are different types of hypersonic weapons. Aero is essentially a hypersonic glide vehicle, or HGV. In this, the system is launched to extremely high altitudes using intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, or an aircraft where it skips across the Earth's upper atmosphere and then glides back, attaining hypersonic speed. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is a long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber in service with the U.S. Air Force. 
The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. It's been operated by the United States Air Force USAF, since the 1950s, and with upgrades it's supposed to serve into the 2040s. It has a typical combat range of more than 8,800 miles or 14,080 kilometers without aerial refueling. The massive range enables B-52 to take on strategic bombing missions. The powerful engines also enable B-52 to carry up to 70,000 pounds or 32,000 kilograms of weapons. Depending on the exact size of the arrow, the B-52 may be one of the only few aircraft that will be able to carry it. B-52 is currently a vulnerable platform because of its large radar cross-section and slow speed. It will find it difficult to penetrate the advanced air defense system. But with Arrow, it will have a weapon that can be launched from standoff distances without getting inside the engagement envelope of enemy air defenses. It's important to note that the U.S. Air Force is working to extend B-52's life with several key upgrades, including engines. U.S. Air Force has recently chosen Rolls-Royce's North American Division to supply F-130 turbofans to re-engine its fleet of B-52H bombers. 608 engines will be acquired, and this is enough for one-for-one -for -one replacements of the eight Pratt & Whitney engines found on each of the 76 B-52H bombers. The U.S. is lagging in the hypersonic weapons space, especially against Russia and China. Russia has already fielded Avangard and Kinzhal, whereas China has deployed Chinese DFZF and YJ-21. Kinzhal has actually been used in the Ukraine-Russia conflict. As stated by U.S. DOD leaders, hypersonic weapons are a national imperative. Michael E. White, Principal Director for Hypersonics, has said the adversaries have increasingly focused on systems that dramatically compress the timelines and the time scale of a tactical battlefield. He indicated that American portfolio of subsonic and supersonic weapons will be found wanting in a battle. He stated that the U.S. Department of Defense, or DOD, has developed the hypersonics modernization strategy that accelerates the development and delivery of transformational warfighting capabilities based on hypersonic systems. In this situation, the successful test of Aero is a major boost for U.S. forces, especially given the fact that the U.S. Air Force is committing large sums of money to keep the B-52 flying. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.